Well, isn't that just a glorious backdrop? Excellent backdrop. Lovely Scotch pines just reaching up to the sky there. Um, right, so good morning. Good morning, good morning. And where am I? So I'm in a woodlands that I've come to before, um, about a 20 minute drive from my home. Um, and I've come here to try out a new lens. This one, it's new to me, sport second hand. Um, now I've had this style of lens before. I had the, uh, the, the 105 mil, it's the Sigma 150 mil macro. It's the uh, DG OS HSM APO 2.8 lens. I bought it second hand off of uh, mpb.com. Uh, on the internet, it's a well-known camera trading site here in the UK. Um, bought it for 250 quid in good condition. What's bargain? There's nothing wrong with it at all. So we're going to be wandering around with this today, seeing what we can do. Now, I'm going to say here right now that I tried this before, close-up and macro photography, and I'm absolutely useless at it. Um, and I give up. I sold the lens. Um, I thought it was a bad idea. But, you know, I, I just want to bring more variety into my channel into the photography that I do um, so I thought I'd give it another go so I was gonna it was a choice of three it was either getting the it was either getting the um, back to the 105 Sigma or the um, Nikon 105 or this 150 and I am denied and I'm denied and I thought well I'd, I'd like the extra reach to be honest so I got the 150 mil and on paper this is actually sharper than the Nikon one so um, we're, we're going to find out, aren't we? Um, Camera-wise, um, I've not bought the D500 for this trip. I've got the D7500. My D7500 still got it, and bas basically because I've got the, um, you know, I've got the internal flash that I can use. Plus, I've got um, external lights that I can use as well if I'm going to use them. Um, also bought my trigger release. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to walk around here just to see what it is. The sun's sort of like trying to break through the clouds at the moment. But I'm here all day, it's just gone seven. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have a little wander around and learn this together. As I say, I'm actually useless at this. So, you know, I've, I've read, um, read online and everything else about the use of macro lenses. Now, you know, whether I do macro or just, you know, just do close up with it, because the reason I bought it is because I could stand further away from my subject, especially with butterflies and insects. And now I can just, you know, stand here and just, go in gently like that with them um, and stand further away without spooking anything but at the moment we've got we've got a nice area around here we've got all this bracken that's um just spread out around here and i'm liking this scene at the moment um i've also bought my 24 to 70 um it's in my bag um just in case i get you know really miffed and basically pissed off that it's not going right right with this um so yeah so i bought my uh 24 to 70 tripod wise i've not bought my big tripod today um, my NRL RT80C. I bought my travel tripod. It's uh, a Manfrotto travel tripod. It was the tra it was a tripod that they did um, with the um, video pistol grip. Um, so I, what I did is I, I took the pistol grip and the long centre column out. And if you go onto Manfrotto's site, you can buy the short centre column. It's about that that big. Um, so I bought that, stuck that in it, and I bought the small rig ball head, the little tiny small rig ball head. Little tiny thing it is. I'll give you a look in a minute. Um, but it holds 25 kilos. <laughs> it really is a good bit of kit. So that's my, my travel tripod. Um, so yeah, keeping it simple, keeping it light. Let's have a wander around and see what we can do. I'm just gonna have a little scout around here, see what we can find here. Um, but at the moment, I'm liking that image with the 24 to 70, to be honest. <laughs> but it's not about that. We're gonna try this out, learn it together. You know, anybody who's used macro or does macro, you know, constructive criticism in the comments is much appreciated. So yeah, let's get cracking and we'll uh, have a look around here. Right, so like I said, I'll show you my travel tripod, it's just here. Just this one, as you can see it's the Manfrotto. It's uh, five, uh, one, two, three, four section legs with the clips. And um, this is the, uh, the short center column. Incidentally, it's the, uh, want to know what one it is if you go to the Manfrotto site it's the BFRSCC as you can see you can see it in there it's um let's just turn it around like that you can see it's really tiny just here it's that big that big so there's the ball head it's the um small rig ball head that fits straight on it little tiny thing actually give you some perspective of how big it is Here is a lighter, just here. 
there's the Manfrotto ball head, there is the lighter. So this is a clipper lighter, so you know how big they are. So there we go, there's the base, there's the base of the trike, there's the base of the ball head. So just there. There we go. That's the height of the ball head. And width wise, as again using the uh, clipper as a as a guide. Look at that. It's how tiny it is. And you undo the ball head by undoing this screw just here. It gives you that movement. And this one here to give you panning. So I found a shot just over here, oh, just over there. You can see the um, the sun's peeking through now, and it's given some some nice light. So I'm going to go over there and um, set up my cam, set up my tripod and my camera, and uh, might put my trigger release on as well and manual focus it. So I go over there, and I'll I'll see you over there actually. Right, so we found ourselves a little bit of a um, image here. So we've got the camera set up on the tripod, and it is level with this bracken leaf and up here we've got a seed pod just there so I'm shooting level with it so let's have a look at the back of the screen so that's what it looks like at the moment when the sun comes out that's shoving some nice sort of like golden side light on that and it's looking for a nice image so I'm shooting in mirror up mode in live view um, uh, exposure delay three seconds I'm shooting an aperture priority, so F4, auto ISO. Um, it's giving me around about oh, between 1 and 140 ISO. Um, set my, set my um, shutter speed minimum 1 one hundredth of a second. So it's giving me 160th of a second at the moment. So that light's just coming out now. Minus 0.3 EV on this one. So I'm just going to take that image there. Gives it some nice side light just then. So have a look at that. Oh, that's looking all right actually. I'm going to swap hands. I'm going 100% focus on there. Look at that. Look at the clarity on that. It's marvellous. Anyway, let's um come out of there. Going 100% on the seed pod. And I press my finger on the screen to focus that in. Oh, that's looking much better. So. That's focused right on there. F4, this one, this one, so I've got it nice and um, fall off before and after the seed pod. And a nice little, nice little parallel streak of focus area around by the seed pod. So I'm just waiting for the sun to come out now. It keeps starting in and out of cloud. And when that does, I'll take the image and I'll put that up on screen. So when you're um, doing this sort of photography, I think it's a good idea just to keep looking on the floor and looking around you, around at your feet. And just off the path, I saw this. You see that there? See that purple flower? Just, it's grown in between the prongs of this bracken leaf, fern, the fern leaf. See how big it is? See how tiny it is? That's my little finger. Look at my fingernail. So it's just bigger than my fingernail. So, I'm thinking of taking a shot like that up the leaf or a little bit higher like that. So it's one of them things where you're going to have to uh, sit and think about it for a minute. I'm just turn you around. So I'm actually sat on the path. You can probably see there's a path. <laughs> so I'm actually sat on the floor. So I'm just going to set my, I've got my camera just here. Where is it? Oh, it's behind me. So. There's my camera, just in my hand. I'm just going to mess about sat here, um, different angles, up high, down low, you know, and everything else. And, and when I'm when I'm happy with what I've got, there's no there's no real light here at the moment. There is a, a sprinkling of um, light coming around. 
Um, it might move around. If it does move around, it'll do me a favour and it'd be brilliant. Um, but if not, I can put some extra light on it just to just to just to give it a bit a bit more of a punch. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to mess about with this when I've uh, sorted it out and uh, set my tripod up and everything else. I'll take the shot and I'll bring you back then. See you later. Right, so I've I've got the um, angle that I want. I've got the angle that I want on this, and what's making it nice is there's a, there's a little bud to the to the to the um, right of this, is, is, and it's got a nice red tip, and it's making it look real nice. Now, the light the light is not very good here at the moment. I mean, it's it's up there, but it's it's going away from me. And um, if I'd have been there sort of like uh, 20 minutes earlier, this would have been a, this the, the sun would have been hitting that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shove a little bit of light on it. So what do I use? This, this is actually my vlogging light. <laughs> So it's this the Ulanzi vlogging light. It sits on top of my GoPro um, and it's got um, just four settings, low, and that's the brightest one. Um, the good thing about the good thing about this is is that I can hold this really close to the plant and not have it in not have it in the shot. So I'm gonna put my GoPro in a way where you can actually see this. It's gonna prove a bit important. Actually, no, I don't what I know what I do. I'll shoot a little bit of video with the Nikon and see if that works. Um, so we're going to get a cropped in image. Um, bear that in mind, because um, I've just switched it to video. It's 4K30, so um, we're going to get a cropped in image. But you'll get the idea of uh, what this little vlogging light does with and without. So we're switched to the uh, Nikon now. Right, so we just go. We just switch over to the Nikon now. So you should be seeing the Nikon um, video. So this is shot uh, 4K30, as I said earlier. So I'm just going. That's that's without the light. So now I'm just going to put my put my vlogging light on. So that's without the light. And as I put my hand closer, you see that. See what light that's given on there, without me actually touching anything. So that's without. That's with. There's been a lovely little shadow underneath it, which I find is brilliant. And just here to the side, you'll see that um, lovely um, little root there with the uh, red top on it. So that's with the light. That's without the light. So that's that's the difference it makes. So we're going to show stop that video there. Switch that back. So I've got the angle. I'm going to take the shot. I'm just going to adjust it about a bit. And um, we'll bring it back in a minute. Right, so now we're ready to take the image. So I'm going to take two shots here. I'm going to take one without the image, one without the light, and one with the light. So you can tell the difference. So uh, one one hundredths f seven point one ISO eight hundred. Take this shot. Again, mirror up mode, exposure delay three seconds. So now I've taken that one. I'm going to put the light on it now. I'm just going to hold it over the top there. Just move. I'm just going to move it about. Just so, so I'm happy with it. Let's bring my uh, just so I can see it like that. That's better. I want a nice bit of shadow underneath it. Just moving the light just above it. Oh, oh, there, 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 there. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Right. So we're going to take that shot. Oh, I've got a lovely bit of shadow underneath it as well. Bring it up a little bit. Increase the shadow. Wow, have a look at that. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Where I've had that light on there, that's... that's uh, um, it's made the background darker. <laughs> oh my word. That's a classic image. That's really, really nice. And I'll tell you what, where I had that lamp, this light over the top, the, the red tip of that little shoot next to it has really been emphasised. And it's, I'm going to look at that again, I just can't stop looking at it. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just quality. I'm really pleased with that. I am really pleased with that. <laughs> I could get used to this. Oh my word. That's just wonderful. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
oh, I'm like a school kid, just found a new toy. <laughs> Again, I have my um, shutter release in there um, with live view on, touch focus 100% in on the, I was actually focused right on the center of the plant, right on the center of the plant I was focused on. And yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And you'll see it now. So you, you, you catch me on the floor again. So what I've got is I've got these um, little white plants in this hedgerow here. There's, there's not much light here. There's not a lot I can do about it. I can't put any artificial light on it because um, I, I can't. My arms aren't long enough. Um, I'm not going to use the flash. I'm just going to leave it, leave it as it is. So what, what I've got is I've got these white plants and I've got this long grass that's in front of it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try try a bit of focus recompose. Um, so I'm going to focus on one of the white plants, and then I'm going to just move myself to the left slightly because I want this I want this long grass to obscure it, you know. And but I still want the white plant to be in focus. So I've got to get down for this one, but it's it's finding the right angle. So I've got to sort of like focus in between in between the grass here. And then recompose and take the image. It's looking all right actually. It's not not too bad. Yeah, it's looking all right. It's sort of like um, makes it look as though it's sort of like in a ditch, and it's all on its lonesome. But I'm just going to make it mess about with this for a while because I want to try and get get myself in the correct position. Might have to sit further away. Let's just go back sort of a few inches again. So I'm going to try the shot again. I'm focusing in between two blades of grass, and the blades of grass I've got single point focus, uh, and the blades of grass here that I'm focusing they're they're only sort of like an inch and a half apart. So I'm focusing through a blade of grass, two blades of grass that's an inch and a half apart. So I've just focused on the white plant. This is the top white plant, and I'm just going to move myself around. Oh, that's looking better. I'm going to just do that one. Yeah, that's all right. Obviously, no, no, nothing on the last image, I must admit. But I'm still liking it. Um, it would help if there was a little bit of light there, but uh, what am I shooting? I'm still having to shoot uh, minus, minus 0.7 EV on this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, mess about with this a bit more and the best one I'll put up on the screen for you. So I have found uh, another image and probably the final one, but I'll keep looking. I've still got an hour or so to go. Um, so what I'm looking at here is there's this uh, little bit of fern and it's right in front of an old tree stump that's covered in moss. Now the sun is hitting it from certain aspects and the look I want is sort of like a, a, very, a very dark image with the... Um, just the chinks of light on the on the on the leaves of the fern the fern plant. Um, so I've got it I've got it all set. But I'll just turn you around and I'll just show you what I'm thinking. So hold on a minute. Just have to go over there a minute. So the camera's all set up. So we're looking right here. So let me just go over here. So that's what we're looking at. So. On the back of the camera it looks totally different so I'm, I'm shooting I'm shooting this on a manual exposure because I want to get the look I want um, so we got the um, the old stump there covered in moss and you've got this lovely 
fern, fern plant that's all bits of pieces of light. Now, on the back of the camera, because I'm shooting this in a manual exposure, and I'm shooting this at f5.6. Now, that looks really dark from there, but I'm just gonna take a shot. And we'll just have a look at that. You see, and that's the image I'm looking at. That's what I wanted, just that one. I have taken another just before I came on camera and that's looking a little bit better. I prefer that one over that one because the sun's obviously moving. That one I do prefer. And that one I've just taken. So it was taken sort of like 160th F5.6 ISO 100 mirror up mode, three second delay on exposure. Um, exposure delay thing and that is round about uh, two and up, minus two and a half EV so I'm liking that as I say the, the, the sun's moved now so it's actually ruined the um, the shot so 160th of a second was enough to freeze the action well that is it I've come to the end of my stint in these woods and I've really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Just gone two o'clock now, just finding it a little bit too hard now because of the uh, harshness of the light. I spent most of my time in the canopy past midday, um, just trying to find some soft diffused light, but even that was trying to prove difficult. Got me 24 to 70 out once, but again, light is just too harsh to do anything. And, um, but the photos I did take, spot on absolutely wonderful i do like them. my favorite one is the purple plant purple flower poking through the leaves of the um of the fern leaf and the, with the little little uh seedling of the bed on top i just thought that was just an amazing photograph but yeah i've really enjoyed it here i've got to go and pick the wife up now and i've got about half an hour walk to the car and then 20 minute drive home or 40 minutes to pick the wife up so yeah i say thank you very much for watching Really good using this lens. What do I think of it? Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant lens. The 150 Sigma. Superb. Couldn't wish for better. Glad I bought it. Really am glad I bought it. It's going to be, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a date in my diary for next year. Um, because as I said earlier, it's just, throughout this woodland, it's just a carpet of uh, bluebirds. They've all died off now, um, obviously. It's uh, the end of May, bank holiday now. Um, the end of bank holiday May. And um, so next year I shall come, come back and I shall be in there and I should bring the same lens combination the 24 to 70 and the 150 Sigma absolutely superb really enjoyed it anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video guys cheers